What's up guys, skinny boy coming out, just kidding. Um, Thaddy is here guys, we are in Bali, but in this video I actually wanna talk about, I'm not gonna make it too long, I don't wanna waste your guys' time, but I actually want to give you guys a line of code that can theoretically double your conversions, okay? <laughs> Now, there are a couple Shopify apps that I've seen that do this, but they charge you money and that's not something we want to do, like, especially like if I'm making websites for clients and whatnot, we basically try and custom code as many apps as possible so they don't have to pay for stuff monthly. Um, but in this one, guys, I'm actually going to show you guys a website um, that you can use to actually generate this line of code based on, you know, whatever preferences you want. Um, and I'll walk you guys through that in a second, okay? Um, but basically, guys, what it does, it's on your checkout page, okay? And to give a very, very quick explanation for it, it's, um, it, it kind of boosts the scarcity and urgency factor um, scarcity scarcity I don't know how you say it um, for your checkout on your checkout page okay so okay, a lot of people like that's where you lose most of your customers guys you lose most of your customers or potential customers right at the checkout page so after you've done all the work actually getting traffic to your site after you've done all the work you know getting them to add the product to the card to view content to view the page um, and eventually you know proceed to checkout you actually want to like ensure that you can actually close them on the checkout like I've seen websites guys with up to 7% conversion rates because of this little app because just, just because without it I've seen their website go from 3.5 and then with it go up to 7%. Now, I'm not saying that's the case for everyone or everyone's websites, but it should have an like a noticeable increase in your guys' conversion rate, okay guys? So I'm gonna hop into a very, very quick screen share and screen, screen share and show you guys what that's all about and I'll see you guys on the computer. You'll see we're on this website called Conversion Pirate, which everything will be linked down in the description guys so that you guys can literally just go on here and do the exact same thing, but there's some, there's a few things we wanna change to actually increase the conversion rates and make them better. Um, what we're doing, right, as you guys can see, what it does is on your checkout page, it's going to add um, different types of trust badges and this little text on the top here that says your order is reserved for certain, like a certain amount of time, right? Um, and that in itself does a pretty good job of adding that urgency factor and making people want to, you know, buy, um, which again helps your conversion rate, right? Because again, that's like something where most people don't really alter um, at their cart checkout or they don't know that they can actually alter their cart checkout. Um, but with this line of code, guys, you're actually able to do that um, and able to customize a bit. Now, here's the one thing that I do that actually gives me a better, um, a better conversion rate rather than just saying your order is reserved for X amount of minutes. Because again, that, that doesn't say too much besides that, oh, okay, we have it here for you um, until the time runs out, right? Um, which again, it, it helps, it helps. But what I like to do, right, is again, so we're going to keep this time within, uh, within two brackets here. But what I like to do is I like to say use code right save for example right save five okay um for five percent off in oh, sorry in the next blank minutes um uh sorry all right now use code save five to save five percent off save five percent off your next purchase in the next blank minutes okay now um, what that does is although it helps with the urgency factor guys we're also adding a little bit of um, a discount so we're actually like it, it's a pleasant discount right so it's nothing that we advertise to them um, it's nothing that uh, you know that they'll know about until they reach checkout and once they reach checkout it's like a pleasant little gift for them it's like hey here's a free you know here's a free discount just because you're here um, and you can use it in the next X amount of minutes to purchase the product now again this needs to correlate with your branding though guys so again not everyone's site like if you're trying to be super luxurious or luxurious or something like that um, again you're not gonna want to use discounts right because then that'll just hurt your actual brand identity um, but again you, you'll be able to play around with that because again the text here is customizable and what I like to do is um, for the countdown time I actually like to set that for seven minutes um, they said 15 on the website again guys you can test but I prefer seven minutes for this um, and then for the trust badges guys you can actually choose so they have a bunch of different ones here that you guys can actually choose from um, and actually use those um, and switch them up depending on whichever kind of uh, whatever kind of trust badge you want um, or if you don't want any trust badges at all okay and then you can uh, have the cookies settings enabled or disabled um, I would just keep that on guys um, so that it doesn't you know refresh the time whenever they refresh the cart just to keep that there okay guys but again that's this is literally just a line of code that you can use now once you're done with this okay uh, so say this is everything we've done it looks good like okay yeah use code save five now you again you want to go in your Shopify back in and actually make a coupon called save five so they can actually redeem it right um, on checkout now uh, we'll click generate code can you see this code here? It's, it's a long line of code uh, but it is one snippet of code here so you can click this right and you'll just copy that over now 
you'll go to your Shopify store, right? This is just a client store that we're developing a website for. Um, but for example, right, you'll go here and then you'll go to your online store, okay, on the left, and you go down to preferences, right? Now, where you put it in is a little bit um, of a different spot, something that you probably wouldn't think about right away. But first of all, you need to have your Google Analytics user, um, user ID already um, added to your Shopify store, okay? So if you don't have to do that, you go to Google Analytics, create an account, they give you an ID, and you paste that in there. And then once you're in here, guys, you'll see a separate little bar down below that just says add additional JavaScript or additional code. That's where you're gonna copy that in, okay, guys? So you're not going to copy it in this main box, okay? You're actually going to add your Google ID first, if you haven't already, and then add the Google Analytics um, or this Google, or sorry, and then under your Google Analytics ID in that, in that little blank space of um, where you can add additional code, that's where you're going to add this little script here, um, which will, again, change your checkout page to show this, which, again, should help your conversion rates, guys, for the most part, especially with um, a lot of you guys that are drop shipping and, um, you know, using trends or not necessarily super luxurious or super branded, um, then this is even better for you guys. Um, but again, even a branded store, guys, um, will help your conversion rates depending on how you word um, and phrase the text, okay? So again, I told you this video wouldn't be too long. Um, literally just a line of code that can help you guys out. You guys can check out the website in the link in the description to literally do what I just did and copy and paste it, guys. Um, but yeah, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to drop a comment. I respond to everybody's comments. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. We're out here in Bali filming a documentary and doing a bunch of other business stuff that I'm excited to show you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace. Yeah.